Emerging from a fog-shrouded Sydney harbour, the troop carrier HMAS Sydney prepares to berth at Garden Island Dockyard. And with her comes the main contingent of the 5th Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment, after service in the battlefields of Vietnam. Waiting on the dockside, relatives and friends who've waited alone for the past year for their loved ones to return to their homeland. At first there's a strange feeling of anticipation, until spontaneous cheering breaks out as the boys come down the gangway. Each face tells its own story. The 12 months away in the war zones have turned boys into men. Waiting at the dockside for the battalion is a tiger cub, a new mascot to symbolize the courage of the most decorated unit to return from Vietnam. Remember these scenes two years ago as Australia's first national servicemen prepared for their introduction to army life? Many were to be posted to the 5th Battalion after their basic training. And a grimace at their first army inoculation. And in Vietnam, the new breed of Australian digger received his baptism of fire. As the dust from the helicopter swelled across one of the barren areas of Vietnam, the Australians from the 5th and her sister battalion, the 6th, showed they'd not lost the fighting spirit of their forefathers. Tragically, some did not return to Australian shores with their comrades. Australia is proud of the 5th, and thousands turned out around the Sydney Town Hall to give them a hero's welcome. On the steps of the Town Hall, the Administrator of the Commonwealth, Sir Edric Bastian, takes the salute as the diggers receive the thanks of a nation. And while to the cheers of Sydney the march came to an end, in Vietnam at places with strange sounding names like Bien Hoa, Da Nang and Ba Ria, other Australians carry on a proud tradition. <laughs> Thank you.